Weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Enaba region later tonight.
street just outside the shopping district. I don't get it. I mean, we... <sighs> Look, we're all meeting at Jeunesse. Come over right away. Over here! Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. <sighs> yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? Wha why What on earth's going on here? How am I supposed to know? It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. W were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji Kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right. Maybe Teddy no. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. Huh? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. Whoa, he's here! Uh, this really hits the spot. What the? I mean, how'd you... It took you guys long enough, I've been waiting! Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, 
someone asked for my name, so I told them I'm Teddy. So that's why. Oh, yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone. That's why I came over here. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Morin was never on that side? What's going on? Hey, hey! I want to go somewhere! Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little teddy. I'm an all new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy. Wow, a new legend. are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel, either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? They couldn't? Well, they've done it a bunch of times already, but I guess everyone screws up sometimes. Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh, I get you. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? <laughs> Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. A little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Uh, can I... 
Can, can I feel it? No. Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. What? I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan. And now, I finally have an inside. Yeah, good job with that. Oh, come on. Can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you I'm not hollow anymore! Yeah, it's too hot! I can't stand it! <sighs> it's so hot! <sighs> Hit the spot. Hey, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. Uh, yes. Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy, is that really you? Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Uh, then don't take the bottom part off. Uh, you need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. 